Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS3Root.com um, So today I'm going to show you how to connect your Galaxy S3 um, Any of the Galaxy S3's I've tested on my all my Galaxy S3's I've got the Verizon one and i9300 I'll just my, use my favorite Verizon one uh, because I have grandfathered 4G LTE here um, So to pair, uh, you'll, need, you'll need a first um, Basically first you'll need a rooted phone if you don't know how to root your phone, go to my site, galaxyS3root.com. If you click on FAQ there, there's a rooting instruction for every type of Galaxy S3. If you have a Canadian Galaxy S3, just follow the AT&T version. Um, you should be all good to go. And once you have a rooted Galaxy S3, you also need one of these um, controllers. If you have one already, that's ideal, but I just got one just to try this because uh, one of my users, they asked me, how do you connect this, Mac? So I was like, all right, I'll water one. Um, but it ended up being a very good investment and I highly recommend you get one of these OTG cables uh, basically this allows you to connect um, any kind of you know USB devices you know you can connect um, stuff like your your uh, flash flash drives it detects flash drives um, you'll see it'll pop up right here and you can connect uh, all, all kinds of you know stuff in here but anyway um, what we'll do here, and also you'll need a uh, just a standard, standard um, what are these mini, um, mini USB cables. Um, you probably have one of these if you had a BlackBerry, uh, one of the older black or, or one of the older phones. Basically, we need it because we need to convert this into just a mini USB here by plugging it in and uh, plug it to our PlayStation uh, PS3 controller. So connect it all like this, all right. And uh, next, you have to have a rooted phone again. Next, go ahead and download um, this this uh, app called. You just need one app. You don't have to check for compatibility. Compatibility, it's all compatible. Um, my get the six axis controller app. I just got it. Um, this is like two bucks. Highly wor uh, recommend it. You can't actually get it working without it. Go ahead and open it. And uh, you, what you'll need to do is pair controller. So hit pair controller, all right. And uh, it will show you this address. This address is also down here, if you can see. There you go. Is that address same address? Um, it's just gonna give it this address um, and uh, say okay. All right. And what this will do is put that Bluetooth address. This address to your PSC 3 controller so you can, you can connect it. The reason why you can't connect it using regular Bluetooth because the PS3 controller does not use the regular uh, Bluetooth. I think it uses some kind of HID or whatever. So once that address has been up updated, you don't need these cables anymore. Um, but highly recommend it for programming the address. And also you can use your computer to do it. Um, I'll, have, I'll show you how to do that in a second. So once that's done, you can put your game, your uh, game clip if you bought one. Um, highly recommend it. It's an awesome, nifty device. Turns your phone into a full-fledged uh, gaming device. And what you want to do is, is hit start and just say yes. And let me show you what it, it looks like there. Yeah, there we go. So it's listening for controllers, and all you have to do is ho hold down the P button, the home button. All right, and you'll see uh, client connected, and your uh, your controller will shake. All right, and uh, next you can simply um, you can actually start using it. You can see that it's working. Um, I'm just gonna load up GTA 3 here real quick and uh, show you that it's working. My screen's a little bit dirty. Where did my my thing go here? There we go. And let me move the camera so you can see a little bit better. There we go. Now I'll turn up the sound just a little bit. Or you can use uh, these buttons here. I think one of them is to go forward. Still loading. 
Um, but you have a fully uh, wireless Bluetooth. And also, if you don't want to use Bluetooth, you can actually use this cable. And uh, the Galaxy, all the Galaxy S3s, they support um, uh, the PS3 controller without doing anything. You just need to do this if you want to connect it uh, via Bluetooth wirelessly. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, there we go. Now you can use um, this, these buttons. Which one is it? I think it's the triangle. I don't know, it's... The, no, it's the start button. No. Just start it. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let me start the game. And uh, you'll be able to use it wirelessly. And uh, this ca game clip is very handy. I like it because without it, you can't really go everywhere. But this allows it to completely turn it into a gaming device. How do I skip this? Yeah, I think it's a triangle. Is it a triangle? Okay. Here we go. So there you go. You can move, um, and uh, I think it's that key to get in there. I forget. That's the arm. That's the jump. Uh, one of those keys. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Is it select? Oops. No, no. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting in the car. Oh, okay, it's one of the these buttons up here. Okay, that's back and that's forward. And it makes the gaming a lot more fun. Um, I can certainly tell this is a full gaming experience versus um, not having one of these. And uh, it certainly is a lot of fun. Anyway, um, anyway, that's how you connect it uh, via Bluetooth and uh, with that app. So total, um, when you order the game clip, make sure you get the OTG cable. It makes it very easy to program the the address, the Bluetooth address for your PS3 controller. And if you if you switch phones or whatever, um, you'll need to reprogram it. But if you only use one phone, um, then you don't really have to get this. You can program it using your computer. Let me show you how to do that. Um, so first, what you'll need is a um, you need a one of these cables. What are these called? The uh, uh, the mini the mini mini USB cables. The ones from the old the back in the day. And uh, whoops, connect it to your PS3 controller. All right. And then let's go to our computer. Next, go ahead and download this to call, uh, tool called Six Axis Pair Tool. I'll have links below. Um, this is for Windows only. There's also a way you can connect with Linux or Mac. Um, but if you're going to use Linux or Mac, I highly recommend getting one of these OTG cables. It makes things much easier. Don't try to do it on your computer. Um, go ahead and install that program, and you'll get this thing called Six Axis Pair Tool. Go ahead and run it, um, and uh, it should recognize the current address uh, of your, your uh, it might just say 0000. zero, zero, zero. Um, so next what you want to do is basically go ahead and open up the 6-axis six axis, six controller app, um, and uh, basically type that in. Um, so go back to the six axis controller app and your your uh, Bluetooth address is down here and you just need to basically type that in and it, you can change it using the PC version here um, right yeah you know what let me change the camera angle again so basically right down here enter that address into uh, that program and uh, just update it and that's pretty much it unplug it and then you can you can pretty much do the same thing I have the same address so I'm not gonna update it but that's how you can do it and uh, make sure it's starting and hold down the oh, well it's already connected but let me stop it there we go stop it and let's start it again um, but definitely this is the way to go that way you don't need a computer maybe you know you, ha you have your friends phones and whatever you can quickly switch um, the Bluetooth address on your PS3. And uh, it's still stopping. Sometimes it takes a little while here. 
that's another method to do it. Um, there we go. So I can hit start again. And uh, when you see it's listening, just go ahead and hold down the home button and it will flash your, your, your um, there we go, and it will vibrate. There you go. And that's it. And then I'll show you one other method you can use um, using the wire method just just in case you can't get it working for some reason or if you don't have a rooted phone um, I think this actually works without root so let me show you that I'm just gonna stop this and basically you don't need any programs if you're gonna use a wired method um, basically connect the cable here and then connect the OTG cable here and that's it now how do how do you get it working um, it's not even though it's connected it's not gonna actually work until you hold down the home button and you'll see the icon circling right now it's not doing anything so it, this took me a while to figure out I, I know it's simple but I just saved you a, a lot of time if you know um, so just go ahead and hold down the uh, the P button the home button and now you can use it and now I've got the wire connection and uh, maybe you're running out of uh, alright no there you go. Um, how do I resume game? No. Anyway, you can use it now and uh, have fun with your uh, PS3 controller and your Galaxy S3. And uh, it's, it should be nearly identical for other phones like Galaxy S2 and any other phone or tablet device that supports OTG um, to connect the PS3 controller. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If this video has helped you connect the PS3 to your phone or whatever, um, don't forget to uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And if you have a Galaxy S3, any of the Galaxy S3s, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS3root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and ask me questions. And this was actually one of the questions I received. And I don't play much games, but um, after getting this set up, somebody asked me, oh, I just got this game clip. How do I get this thing working, Max? And I got it, and it's actually really cool. Highly recommend it. It's a little bit on the expensive side um, because it's just a mount, but, you know, but still worth it. I mean, you know, if you're a hardcore gamer or, um, you know, you, you go on the plane often and you like playing games, definitely having one of these is awesome and grab, you know, extra batteries um, and then you can just go on gaming, you know, for hours. It's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, I'm going to have a lot of fun uh, when I go to Korea probably this winter and I'm going to definitely take my game clip with me. Um, so, that's awesome, and I have four Galaxy S3s, or five, so anyway, getting long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay high on Android.